Hi, I'm Mike Miklon. And I'm Mike Veda of NotFar.org. We communicate the good that's being done around the world. We're here at the India Gate in New Delhi on a beautiful, bright and sunny day. In fact, it's so sunny, I think we're putting some sunglasses on. Much better. Yeah. We're actually here today to talk about an amazing organization that's doing incredible things to help the poor in this region. New Delhi, the capital of India, is home to over 20 million people. It's a beautiful city, home to temples, mosques, and the buildings of the British Raj, like the India Gate. For many, life here includes a picnic on a beautiful day. But for many others, life is about getting one meal a day. One out of every three of the world's poor live in India. And in the Delhi capital region, one out of every 10 people live on less than $2 a day. At places like this train station, 4,000 people pour into the city every day in hopes of a better life. Most have no plan, but they do hope for an opportunity. And for many of them, the journey into Delhi ends up just a few steps away, living directly on the streets. For many families, each day is one more long shift of trying to find the next meal. But the Indians are resourceful people. On every street corner, there are rows of ramshackle stalls, home to some sort of business. From food to crafts, you can see the evidence of a determination to make their own way in this tough city. When you look at these shacks, it's hard to believe that these are the success stories. But the contentment comes from the knowledge that they're providing for their families. Now for the Indian poor, this is the equivalent of the American dream. But there are plenty of barriers in the path on the way to this dream. But if you were to talk to these families, you would learn that what they most need is credit. They need money to build and grow these businesses. But for poor people, traditional lending institutions are out of the question. Their only hope is the loan sharks. Loans are given at exorbitant interest rates. Often, the people will never be able to pay off the loan. Yet without these funds, it's impossible to move forward. All it takes is one illness or one missed payment to put these families over the edge. In America, we have a welfare system to fall back on. Here in India, there is no safety net. Here, the sad reality for many is disaster. Sancha is chief executive officer of a new organization called Shakar Development Foundation. Shakar provides loans to the poor. The small credit will enable a family to send their children to the school and get them out of the debt trap. The business of giving loans to the poor is called microfinance. Now microfinance is different than charity. It's a loan with minimal interest. Yeah, the people do not need charity. They need a small amount of money to change their lives. Shakar provides a starting loan of 7,000 rupees, about 175 US dollars, to be paid back over 10 months. Now, inevitably, the question is asked, will they pay the money back? Uh, you ask me, do these people pay back these loans? Uh, you bet 95% of these people pay back fully and on time. Just because these people are poor doesn't mean they are dishonest. They're as honest or as dishonest as any one of us. But can $175 really make that kind of a difference? Uh, we don't see them buying new clothes or a bigger house. Uh, we see them uh, buying books for the, for the children, trying to prepare them for uh, better education and thus for a better day tomorrow. Microfinance is not only changing lives, it's beginning to change culture. In a society where being a woman is often considered a liability, it's interesting to note that Shakar gives these assets only to women. We firmly believe that women are the channels for change. And we also believe that uh, women are better managers. They manage uh, the family affairs and money better than men. A loan gives them more than money. It also gives them pride and a sense of empowerment that they can do anything they put their minds to. And we also feel that these change will start at the family and go on to be a change for the communities. Once these wives begin to bring some money home, it's amazing to see the change that happens in the home. Suddenly they are important, suddenly they are listened to. The money doesn't come easy, however. The process that the clients are required to go through is rigorous. Loans are dispersed to groups of five women, but only after three days of compulsory training, followed by a test. This joint liability group, or JLG, becomes a small community under themselves, making their payments together and supporting each other throughout the entire repayment process. 
It's wonderful to see them coming together this way. The JLGs create strong bonds of friendship and support. It's like a family. Now, Shikar has a bold goal. They plan to reach 300,000 families by the year 2012. Now, a work of this magnitude won't happen without support. Simply put, in order to provide capital, they need capital. The low-cost capital will enable us to hire more people and also to provide uh, credit to the clients with much lower interest rate. When you realize that it takes less than 200 US dollars to pull an entire family out of poverty and into starting a new business, it's encouraging to see what Shikar is doing. So if you want to help Shikar, you can donate or become an investing partner. Just go to the website for more information. So for notfar.org, I'm Mike Miklon. And I'm Mike Veda. Thanks for watching. Take care.